Biomorphism models artistic design elements on naturally occurring patterns or shapes reminiscent of nature and living organisms. Taken to its extreme it attempts to force naturally occurring shapes onto functional devices. History The term was coined by the British writer Geoffrey Grigson and subsequently used by Alfred H. Barr in the context of his 1936 exhibition Cubism and Abstract Art. Biomorphist art focuses on the power of natural life and uses organic shapes, with shapeless and vaguely spherical hints of the forms of biology. Biomorphism has connections with Surrealism and Art Nouveau. The Tate Gallery's online glossary article on biomorphic form specifies that while these forms are abstract, they "...refer to, or evoke, living forms". The article goes on to list Joan Miro, Jean Arp, Henry Moore, and Barbara Hepworth as examples of artists whose work epitomizes the use of biomorphic form. In July 2015 a Facebook group was set up by British artist Andrew Charles. The group morphed into a movement over the following year and was described in a manifesto by Charles on 16 July 2016, breaking down the sculptural genre into specific patterns of creation forming no less than eight necessary protocols for a work to conform to the term biomorphism. In painting The paintings of Yves Tanguy and Roberto Matta are also often cited as exemplifying the use of biomorphic form. During and after World War II, Yves Tanguy's landscapes became emptier, which has been seen as a psychological portrait of wartime Europe. The use of metamorphosis through Picasso influenced surrealism in the 1920s, and it appeared both as subject matter and as procedure in the figurative paintings of Leonora Carrington and in the more abstract, automatic works of Andre Masson. Desmond Morris is a biomorphic painter of note. In architecture The Sagrada Familia Church by Antony Gaudi in Barcelona contains many features inspired by nature, such as branching columns intended to reflect trees. Other well known examples of biomorphism in architecture can be found in the Lotus Temple in New Delhi, by Fairbort Sabah, based on a lotus flower, and the TWA Flight Center building in New York City, by Eero Saarinen, inspired by the form of a bird's wing. One of the leading contemporary architects that uses biomorphism in his work is Basil Al Bayer a leading proponent of the school of metaphoric architecture whose designs have been inspired by trees and plants, snails, whales and insects such as the Palm Mosque at the King Saad University in Riyadh, or the Al Nakhla Palm Telecommunications Tower, which are based upon the form of a palm tree, or the Oriental Village by the Sea, in the Dominican Republic that is based upon the segmented body of a dragonfly. In industrial design Biomorphism is also seen in modern industrial design, such as the work of Alvar Aalto, and Isamu Noguchi, whose Noguchi table is considered an icon of industrial design. Presently, the effect of the influence of nature is less obvious, instead of designed objects looking exactly like the natural form, they use only slight characteristics to remind us of nature. Victor J. Papanik, 1923–1999 was one of the first American industrial designers to use biomorphic analysis is his design assignments. He reached international prominence while at Purdue University 1964–1970. Student work and his own work is illustrated in his book Design for the Real World, published in 1970, which challenges the industrial design establishment to design for the handicapped and disadvantaged throughout the world. First published in 1970 by Bonnier in Swedish, it was published in English in 1971 by Pantheon, and eventually translated and published in 23 languages. It is perhaps the most widely read book on design. Mark Newson, a designer of note. Topic. See also. Metaphoric architecture. Organic architecture. Zoomorphic architecture. Zoomorphism.